I was just think about it and I think we should talk to Kim and, and and talk to Brett and see what they think. I mean, I haven't really been paying attention to the sport since you haven't been in it. I mean, uh, Kim would have some good input on if your physique is still relevant. I'm more concerned about like you and your happiness because it took you a while to kind of recover from all that. How have things been? All is well. Busy as ever. Yeah. That's not too much change. Like I hate being a hamster in a wheel. <laughs> you go somewhere, but you just like you go in circles, <laughs> and you just stop the wheel, and you're at the next show. Yeah, it's it's kind of what I'm calling about too. So I just was um, pondering, wondering if I should maybe get back on stage, and of course, you know, I had to call you to help me with this decision and get your thoughts because you, my coach, and. I want to see if uh, if you even think that I'm still relevant, or if I can do this, or what you, you know, what you think. Number one, you, your first perspective that you always go by is your heart. You always go by, you know, or is your heart in a place right now where you want to do this again, where you, you want to get up on stage and you and you're excited about it. As long as you have that fire going, you know, that makes you want to, you know, not only get back up there but take things to show the improvement that you've been able to accomplish because you've been you've done some different things and you've had fun with that and you've done good. Now stepping back in this arena, you're back into that top end arena where you know, hey, if I bring my A game, I'm gonna be a player. Right. So I don't, I don't see you not being competitive. You're always gonna be a competitive athlete. Your physique is too structurally good not to be. It's just, do we bring our 110% A game and if we do, then it doesn't matter where we go. You will be a girl that will be a competitive physique. Well, that makes me feel really good. <laughs> well, that makes me feel, you know, really no, good. Makes, and we gotta control that big bottle head of yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, some things never change. <laughs> All that said, we gotta stay. We have to stay on track. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh man. You know, it's like, uh, it really just like helps me a lot to hear the first thing that you're talking about. This is why I called you, you know, it's like the first thing that you're talking about is, is my heart here? Is my head here? Am I ready to do this? And that was, you know, for the longest time, what I had questioned and why I took that, you know, long break, it really does feel in my heart that I do and I am ready to put, you know, that focus and that effort into doing that. And, you know, the time off was helpful for that. And, um, you know, I'm doing it for different reasons now. I mean, you saw hands on, you know, I'm, as Greg has said before, I'm hyper competitive so I can get, and we've seen in the past too in it, um, and not, and losing that focus, but, uh, about what the process is really about. And I think that, um, you know, a lot more mature with that and can bring that. So the fact that that's what you're saying makes me feel really good. You know, I'm not. I'm really not worried about any part. You've already proven the part. You've done. You've done it before. You know, yeah. you're an Olympia girl. You're you're a, a top end physique. You've won shows. So you know what it takes to do the job. You know what it yeah. takes to get there. We just have to be in that place in our life where that's a priority. All right. So what? Uh, what do we need to do? What <laughs> what happens next? I think what we need to do is start off with getting getting the basic info about where you are. Okay. So do I need to send you uh, some progress pictures here soon then? <laughs> yeah, I have early morning, uh, no smile, hair's a mess, dust <laughs> to make up. Oh. That, that dead zombie stare look you give me. <laughs> What's up, Brett? How are you? I'm good, Tana. How are you? Good. I've been killing these workouts. Have you thought about competing again? Or? Yeah, I have. And that is um, why I wanted to just get you on Skype real quick. Because, um, you know, I've been kind of tossing it up for months. And, um, you know, I talked to Greg and um, I called Kim. Um, you know my prep coach and uh, you know they're behind me and uh, they want me to get back on stage and I know uh, 
you have been dying for me to get back on stage ever since we started. Um, so I think, uh, I think it's going to happen. I think we're going to do this. Oh. That makes me very happy. I, I never want to pressure you, but I want you to feel ready for it. But I, uh, it's uh, for me as your coach, it would be so exciting to just see it. It's like in theory, we should have added muscle. You should look your best coming in this, in this one. You know, because you're a lot stronger, you gain so much strength. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's always good to see the, the fruits of your labor. You've been working your glutes really hard. I want to see how those come in. And the best way to tell is when you get lean for a show and you can compare those pictures. Well, time to, time to step it up and whoop that butt into shape. It's, uh, <laughs> the hard part is retaining the glutes when you diet down. So No joke. got to keep those while you, while you lean out. Yeah, we want, uh, we want big basketballs. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, I just wanted to, uh, you know, give you a call and let you know. I was super excited. I know you've been wanting me to uh, do this for quite some time, so I was excited to share it with you. And, yeah, uh, this is great. I'm happy. I can't wait. Cool. Well, all right. I'm going to uh, go knock out some glutes as we speak. So, uh, yeah, I'll be uh, in touch soon then. Okay, great, Donna. All right. <laughs>